I'm Brad Wolf with Organolon, and today we're going to talk about how to properly mow a lawn. Mowing a lawn is something that should be very simple and easy. However, many homeowners and even professionals make major mistakes when mowing a lawn. First, mow the grass tall, at least three inches or above. Second, mow once a week. And third, sharpen your blades at least once every four mows. The biggest mistake we see in lawn mowing is that the lawn is being mowed too short. And when we say too short, that's anything less than three inches tall. So the actual foliage of the grass is where the plant stores its water. And if you mow it tall, it will be more drought tolerant and you won't have to water the lawn as frequently. A less commonly known effect of mowing height is that the taller you mow the grass, the deeper the grass roots will grow. As a general rule, grass roots will go about three times as deep as the lawn is mowed tall. I've been mowing this section of the lawn at two different heights to show an example. As you can see, I've been mowing this right side at two inches in height and the left side at three inches in height. And as you can see, the section I've been mowing at three inches has a much deeper dark green color. And I'm gonna take a core sample out of each section and this left side that I've been mowing at three inches in height will have roots that are growing nine inches deep. And this right side, as you can see, the roots are only growing about six inches deep. About 70% of homeowners mow their lawn too short. And I have a theory as to why this is. And I believe it's because most lawn mowers have about five or six different settings on their lawn mower. Homeowners believe the highest setting is too high and the lowest setting is too low. And so they put it on the middle setting. And in reality, the highest setting is usually the appropriate setting. So our recommendation is set the lawn at the highest setting and then use a ruler to measure the mowing height. By raising the mower height to at least three inches, the turf will use less water, it will have better color, it will promote deeper digging roots, it will increase the turf's density, it will have fewer weeds, and it's easier on the person mowing the lawn. A few other important tips about lawn mowing are to mow the lawn once a week. It is important to do this so you don't remove more than 33% of the grass foliage per mowing. Another question we get asked about lawn mowing is if it is okay to mulch the grass clippings back into the lawn. And the answer to that is yes, as long as the grass clippings are not clumping up on the lawn. The grass clippings are actually beneficial for the microbial and bacteria bed in the soil and they add additional organic matter back into the lawn. Another tip for lawn mowing is to rotate the direction of the lawn mowing from lengthwise to widthwise and diagonal every week. This will help so the grass does not get pushed over in the same direction. A common maintenance item that homeowners often forget is to sharpen their lawnmower blades. If you notice that the blades of the grass are white or torn, this is a clear tell sign that the lawnmower blade needs to be sharpened. Trimming is another aspect of lawn care that we often see being done improperly. We recommend trimming the edges at a 90 degree angle instead of a 45 degree angle. The reason for this is if edges are trimmed at a 45 degree angle, this could create an environment that allows crabgrass to move in and grow. And we also recommend trimming at three inches tall instead of two inches tall. I know we covered a lot of different aspects of how to properly mow the lawn. If you take one tip away from this video, it should be that mowing the lawn at three inches or taller is extremely important for the health of the lawn. To watch more videos about lawn care tips, please visit Organolawn.com.